Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the MI UI Repike by Grishan. Yes, that is right. Let's take a look at the system information first. And as you can see, this is the MIUI Global 12.0.11 stable and it is the Indonesian version of the particular ROM. As you can see, it is the Android 10 version and the Android security patch level is 01.12.2021. And our friend Grishan has kept the, um, the default stock kernel for this particular port. So um, that is about the system information. Um, that I can tell you for this particular port well overall the port is quite smooth as you can see from the gestures itself even the quick settings scrolling up and down is quite good now uh, let me tell you the reason why I am reviewing this particular port I had been using Grishan port for my wins I guess it was from 2019 or something like that I'm not I'm not sure he made a wonderful port for wins it was Oreo and it was an excellent port so I decided to review um, review this particular particular port um, you will get the MIUI dialer as default for this particular port because Indonesian uh, MIUI is using Indonesian version of MIUI for POCO is using the default MIUI dialer and messages application um, so that is about the uh, about the dialer and messages app now if you scroll to the left you can see the traditional app vault there isn't any much change with the app vault and all other applications are the same now um, the ROM is not a bloated with a lot of gapps like we get in Indian um, Indian POCO MI UI but it is somewhat de bloated but only with useful stuff but you can uninstall the application so let me launch the device information page so this is how it looks like and in system you can see it is using this citrus id user um, fingerprint and stuff like that so the build type is user the tags are re release keys etc etc now the build is not enforcing it is uh, permissive so uh, once you look at it you can see that it's uh, permissive you can get get enforced in uh, terminal and you can see the AC Linux status now the white wine for this particular level of ROM I mean this particular port is L1 so there isn't any issues with the white wine so let me launch the um, settings app and show you some customization so let's start with the display and as you can see under the control center and notification shade you can get some customization like a clock size in status bar you can see if i if i increase it look the clock uh, font changes so basically if i set it 10 yeah 10 or 11 should be fine and the close clock size in curtain this is what clock size in curtain does so um you can customize the size of uh, clock in curtain too then toggles in minimized shade i mean i'm not sure what that is maybe um this is the thing uh expanded shade for minimized shade five yeah so basically this is the minimized shade and this is the expanded shade uh show icons so you can customize the number of icons and you can even customize the notification icon size as you can see over here the size changes so um there are there are some some useful customization which you can do and if you want to enable and disable the colored status bar icon you can do that if you want to hide the battery icon definitely you can do that then the percentage will be displayed over there and you can even customize the network icon layout as you can see i'm using the dual network icon layout over here you can enable and disable the connection speed which is by default in um, in miui and you can even control the speed interval so you can change the speed interval to something else now if you there is an option for you to uh, for you to help with the network speed whether you want to display it in the right or left and show new control center then percentage indicator and if you are choosing the battery percentage to be uh, outside you can even customize the size of the uh, battery percentage which is being displayed so that is about the con uh, about the customization with the uh, with the with the notification and uh, control shade now if you come back you can see that the rom is not using the default poco launcher it's using the miui launcher so you will get two options like 
whether you can use go for poco poco launcher is by default installed in the rom um, and you can use the default miui uh, launcher so there is also some customization with the uh, with the launcher itself as you can see a double tap swipe up so you can customize the gestures if you want to double tap to turn off the screen you can do that and uh, as you can see from the screen itself there are quite a lot of customization options that are available some are standard and some are added like uh, the background type amount of blur um, number of columns in folder maximum number of icons in the dock then up vault if you want the up vault so let me disable it i don't like to have the up vault so always show clock on status bar i mean these are some things which are being added by grisha so basically the rom is very nice only thing is that the rom is not ac linux enforcing so that's only a drawback with the rom apart from that uh, the rom is really wonderful and i had been using this rom for almost 12 hours i believe so let's have a look at the battery statistics too so let me show you the battery statistics i just rebooted now so you can see it's only displaying zero hours 50 minutes of activity or something like that i'm not sure why it is doing that anyways uh i didn't charge it today so it was a uh, way to bike that i have charged so basically this is about the battery details so once i have re uh, i don't know why it has resetted or something i, I just rebooted the uh, rebooted the rom maybe that's the reason why it is not displaying the complete um, complete uh, thing or complete battery graph so um the security options yeah you get to face unlock with the security options and fingerprint and password by default overall the rom looks really good and it's really smooth and honestly speaking i do really like the rom it's better than the stock version it has some customization and it's very fluid too you can see from here you can even uh, launch apps without any issues it's so smooth and so quick in app launching too you can see here even the play store um play store scrolling is quite smooth many thanks to grishan for 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 uh, porting this rom for our beloved poco m3 citrus so um and he did a wonderful job in it so this is my review about this port you can if you want to use the port definitely you can use it i have noticed any bugs so far um only thing that i've noticed is ac linux is not enforcing if you are not um if you don't want ac linux enforcing then no need for it so what about the safety net let's check the safety net as you can see the safety net do pass by default but there is an issue you need to use these modules such as riru and universal safety net fix to make it pass i mean if you have used the miui version poco version onto your device you may notice that the safety net keeps on failing so you have to install the riru and the safety net module to make it pass i uh, think i'm using that since i'm using the 23.0 version of magisk if you are using 24.1 with this ig disk in it you will have to use separate module from k dragon so that's my review many thanks for watching the review and please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you